Now your heart may be tested. It's not an altogether pleasant story. Our story begins where yours ended. Off with their head! One had once been an empty threat, and the days following your final departure became our dark obsession. Roar, left, roar. Come on, you slugs, pick it up now. Left, roar, left, roar. Look like me now. Left, roar. Come on, move it or it's your head on the block. Left, roar, left, roar. Your days are numbered, servants of the Mad Queen. How long do you think you can trample on us before we sink our fangs into your ankles? Certainly. There were many resistors to her reign. Not many of them are still with us. <laughs> That's efficiency. Broken hearts and broken backs are easily ruled. Thanks to the assistance of an as yet unknown enemy, her army was outfitted with terrible weapons that spat fire and death at a distance, punching through flesh like hurled daggers. Smoke and fire, blood and screaming. I remember the first wars well. I once saw her at a distance. I was surprised I did not behold a demon. She was a woman, not much older than you are, but if not hellish in guise, then hellish in nature. There is a prophecy that the reign of the Queen of Hearts will end one day, when a sane child raises the vorpal blade. That's you, Alice. We bet our lives on it. I wish I could help. I really do. But I'm not one for grand things like wars and rebellions. But your heart still beats. The irony is that the Queen of Hearts does not understand the hearts of others. She believes that every evil dealt to the innocent and unwary will break our spirits. Never stop fighting and pray. But they will not. They will harden our hearts, steal our courage, Bring our hatred back round to bite her heel. That is what I am counting on you for. Match her and dispatch her. Tell me what I have to do. Well, I must say, time has flown. To be continued.